Hey folks, it's Two Sheds Gabby, and I'm back to do another penny hunt today. Picked up my usual weekly box of pennies along with my half dollars, and I got no silver again. Oh, it's, phew, it's a bummer. Anyway, while I was out, I uh, found this at Coinstar, one Canadian there. No silver. One of these days, I'm going to get another silver at Coinstar, but it's the, the, the silver is eluding me right now. I'm just not finding it. I'm watching some other guys on YouTube finding it. And I'm, oh, man, give me one of those. <laughs> oh, yeah, I sold something on Facebook Marketplace today, and I didn't get murdered. So that's a real success story there. Um, let's No enders uh, to speak of. There is copper. So we're hoping to find 10 wheat pennies, 3 pounds of copper. That's my usual goal. I think um, if I get around two and a half pounds, which I'm pretty sure I will, then I will fill another box and seal it up. And I believe that's going to put me at um, 180 pounds for the year. That'll leave me with 80 to go. So I can't stop, but I think I can do it, but I just got to keep plugging away at it. Let's get started. I opened the first roll and the very second penny was a 1942 Philadelphia. That was fun. Cool. Thought I would go to more banks than I did today, but um, I got out and I called my wife and she still ain't on top of the game, not feeling too good. So I come home to help make her some lunch. It's fun to find something at Coinstar again. I'm having a terrible time finding any silver. I'm watching these guys on YouTube and they're finding it. And I'm like, where, where are you finding this stuff? Half dollar make you holler. Man, they've, they've done great this year. I think I did a little better than them last year. But oh my, this year they're killing it. I'm starting to be concerned about my 100 silver coins for the year. For my goal. I believe I'm still at 79. Oh, um, one of the banks that I go to regularly, number five, is um, they have a food truck tomorrow, Mexican food truck coming. So I'm going to go over there. Tomorrow and eat some street tacos. Man, that sounds fun. And um, on the other side of town, another one of our banks called me. And they said that um, they went, they told me a few weeks ago that they had a bunch of coins that had lots of Canadian in it. And they called me today and they got them separated out and they said I can come and pick up the Canadian coins. I hope it's a nice chunk of them. Hey, the very end of the third row, and I find another 1942. That's that's two of them now. Right at the end of the sixth row, and I find wheat penny number three. Nineteen forty-two. Huh. That is the third one I have found. All three of them is 1942. That's pretty wild. I was just thinking a minute ago, I wonder if any Canadian will pop up in this box. And there is a 1964 right there. Very cool. So I'm going tomorrow to pick up some Canadian coins that the bank is telling me that they have for me. Man, I hope there's a bunch of them. What would be so cool is if there is a silver one I'm mixed in amongst it. I could sure use a silver coin. <laughs> Here is wheat penny number four. 
in the ninth row. Fifty six D. Wasn't another forty two. Let's weigh that one. Zinc. Okay. I went ahead and made several TG pennies, two sheds, Gabby, to throw into this box so that I can keep them going. And uh, one day, somebody's going to write to me and go, I found one. I had gone through several rolls, and I finally found another Canadian copper. This one is 1986. It's 12-sided. It was beat up a little. I didn't even catch that till just now. <laughs> Clearly. I'll finally come to Weedy number five. Um, I got the first four pretty quickly in the first half. And now this is the first row in the second half. But I finally did get to number five. Hopefully I'll find five more. This one's a 1946 Philadelphia. Oh, look at ha ah, There's number six right there. How about that? Cool. What have we got there? 1940, and this one is a Denver. Well, that was nice. Um, when I was first moved up to Indiana, the town I lived in has a Culver's. And I got Culver's coupons pretty frequently, and... You know, a lot of the Cul Culver's coupons aren't very good. It's like one dollar off for every hundred spin. I'm exaggerating, but um, they would sometimes they would have a buy a concrete mixer, get one free, or they would have a buy a I think they were called butter burgers, get one free, and those that's a good deal. Um, both of those are really good deals. But then we moved um, uh, several miles beyond the town that I was in, to a much smaller town. And this town never got those coupons. And so that was kind of a drag because it's fun to get those coupons. But now I am living back into the town that has Culver's and I started getting Culver's coupons this week. And look at this. Buy one, get one free double deluxe butter burger. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll go to Culver's again. They're a little pricey. Um, I don't go there. Very, I don't. I, Culver's is kind of a fast food. And I just don't eat it fast food hardly at all. Uh, but I do like that butter burger. And I like getting things. I don't like paying full retail. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. Well, finally, uh, I think there's like only a dozen rolls left in the box. And here's Weedy number 7, 1951D. I was talking about not wanting to pay retail. You know, that's how you fight inflation. Don't pay retail. I, I would say that 75 to 80% of everything that I eat from the grocery store is drastically marked down. I go into the store and I look for the stuff that's on sale. And, you know, the big markdowns, like it's getting lo close to the la last date or something. And that's what I eat. Um, you know, if you have a couple of uh, favorite restaurants, find out when they have the gift certificate specials. You know, you pay a, buy a $50 gift certificate and get a free $10 one. You know, I do that a lot. Especially at Christmas time. Buy up those gift cards and you can use them all year long. And you get 20% off. If you're a senior, ask if they have senior discounts. Don't pay retail. I, I mean, I'm telling you. You know, they say that groceries have gone up, what, 30-something percent or more. But I don't see it in my grocery bill because I don't pay those prices. There ain't very many things that I pay full retail for. There's a few. There's some things that you just 
can't get on sale, but I try not to eat that stuff a whole lot. <laughs> hey, look at that. That's cool. That's number eight. We need number eight. Nice. Most of them have been in the 40s. I've still got eight rolls to go, and here is number nine. Maybe I'll get it. 1944, Philadelphia. Nine Wheaties. You know, I was thinking about it, and uh, I've th I have said this before, but there's only 23 years, if you count 82, of the coins that we hoard. You know, the Wheaties we collect. And so that just, from 59 to a little bit more than half of 82 are the only years that we hoard in the U.S. coins. And there's 44 years now of coins since then added on to put that we, that we cast aside. We have five rolls to go in the box. Here is my third Canadian copper. I did find two Canadian that are not copper. The newer ones. This one's a 1980. So I've got all three of the weight classes. 2.5, 2.8, I think it was 3.2 weights. But anyway, like I was saying, the um, you know, 23 years, if you count 82. And so every year, you know, people like me and others, <laughs> there's a lot of us collecting copper pennies. And they're getting fewer and fewer. And every year, there's another 2009. They're adding billions of the zinc coins they're make, printing every year. And putting out in circulation. And it's just going to make it harder and harder to find these copper. And I'm telling you, we're, we're going to see it diminishing. We're going to start saying, hey, I'm just not finding what I used to find. I may already be there. I don't know. But the people that have been at this for several years... I'm positive are already saying that. I've only been at the copper hoarding. I probably less than two years or about that. I'd have to go back and look, but it hasn't been real long. Hey, hey, I got it. Ten, I mean, two rolls to go. And here's Wheatie number 10. Fantastic. 1957. I got my 10. Yay. That's fun. I went back and just scanned through my videos, and I was right. I've only been doing the uh, the pennies for a couple of years. Somewhere along the way, I saw the price of copper, and I saw some others hoarding. I'm like, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> and I like that, um, you know, I... Like today, I got n uh, three boxes of halves. I got nothing. I got one in IFC. But here, I got another box of pennies. I got 10 more wheat coins. I got, I'm s somewhere between two and three pounds of copper. Got a few more Canadian. You know, it's, you find something in almost every box. And that's, that's makes it fun, in my opinion. Even though you're getting maybe less than you did a few years ago. It, it's still something to look forward to, in my opinion. Okay, this is where we're at with the box I'm trying to fill. It's at 12.7, so I need basically two pounds and six ounces, something like that, to get this up to the 15 pounds. Uh, yeah. No, that's not right, is it? <laughs> More like two pounds and eight ounces. To get it up to the, uh, this one get to the 15 pounds. And so I can seal it up. So we need two pounds and eight ounces. If I could only count. We got it. We didn't get the three pounds, but we got the, the enough 
to seal my box up and that will put me at 180 pounds and so I'll just have 80 to go for the rest of the year let me get this sealed up and I'll show you where we're at up there look at that it just barely did it uh, because the box is a couple of ounces so we're just barely at the 15 pounds when I tape these up, I tape them everywhere. I tape this seam, this seam, this seam, this seam, all the way around. Because when I carry this around, if I have to pick it up and carry it, I don't want pennies working their way out the edges. You know, if I ever have to get into it, it's just a razor blade and some tape, no big deal. But I want it to stay sealed. Well, as long as I want it to stay sealed. <laughs> Here is all my sealed boxes now, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. Pretty cool, just 80 pounds to go for the year. Then what do I do? I don't know, but let me get to this. The reason it's 260, if you don't know, it's because I already had 240 from the year before, and I want to have 500 pounds by the end of the year. That's why it's 260 for this year. Mm -hmm.